There it goes. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful fall day, the fall of 2023. It is Saturday, it is September 30th. We have come to the end of September 2023, heading into October tomorrow where it will be in the 80s by Tuesday now that October is here so uh, I am up here in Ithaca New York getting sucked into the uh, medical system rabbit hole but anyway guys speaking of rabbit holes I have some very bad news for Paul Whetstone and probably Andy the gardener I am uh, heavily leaning towards uh, starting a new feature here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I think I'm going to make it a weekend feature. And uh, we are going to start a space, a UFO space alien weekly rant. I've, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, <laughs> For anyone who knows me, I've said it is a damn good thing that uh, YouTube was not around in the 1990s when my entire life revolved around UFOs and space aliens. Uh, I was a lot deeper into that rabbit hole. Uh, a lot deeper into that rabbit hole uh, in uh, the 1990s than I am into the Doomosphere rabbit hole now. And so this is a little bit of a slippery slope for yours truly, but uh, I am very happy to see recently the new found interest in uh, the subject of UFOs. I refuse to call them UAPs. Uh, I'm calling, I'm going to call these things UFOs uh, and space aliens that we're seeing and that finally uh, this subject is getting a little bit of serious attention. it so richly deserves so anywho I don't know what this uh, what form this uh, new uh, new weekly rant is gonna take I'm probably you know, unless I actually see a UFO or a space alien for the first time in my life. Of course, you guys probably know I, I was abducted by space aliens for 22 years, although I have never seen a UFO or a space alien. So unless I do see a UFO or a space alien, Probably just going to be reviewing things that come up on my radar in the news and uh, whatnot. So we're going to start, but I'll make it a separate because I just want to make this an introductory video. So we're going to make the first installment after this introductory. I'm going to review that uh, new Netflix series, that four part series called Encounters, uh, but we're going to do that in a separate rant, so I just uh, want, want to make a few amplifications and clarifications, trying it, just to let you know where I stand on this subject. Uh, you know, I only know in real life one person who claims to uh, actually 
in this plane of reality, you know, in the physical objective plane of reality to have regular interventions with physical space aliens. Look at the turkeys. I got a bunch of turkeys. You need to get those turkeys like that. Uh, I know one person and she's probably watching this. I love this woman dearly. Uh, but, and I, th this is not a pejorative statement, it's just a statement of fact. Th this woman is absolutely batshit crazy. She's one of the most batshit crazy human beings I have ever met. And she just happens to be the only person that I know personally who uh, gets regularly visited in the physical realm by uh, by space aliens. So I don't know what that says. Uh, and I, I want to make it clear for the record that I think, oh, a conservative estimate about what you will find on the internet about UFOs and space aliens, I would say conservatively that 99.9% .9 of what you hear on the internet is flat out unadulterated horseshit. Flat out fucking horseshit. 99.9% .9 of it. Uh, so if you watch 100 uh, videos on YouTube or elsewhere about the subject of UFOs and space aliens and you can find one out of a hundred that doesn't belong right in the toilet, consider yourself lucky. But uh, as these UFO buffs uh, say, and I've always said, 99.9% .9 is not 100%. That if one, if one space alien story turns out to be true, uh, one. Out, out of the probably millions and millions of accounts of UFOs and uh, space aliens, if one out there turns out to be true, that is the second biggest story in the history of humanity since we climbed out of the trees. One, that uh, you can have conclusive physical proof, meaning the body of a space alien. Uh, we need one, and we all know that there's all kinds of rumors that we have more than one. We have a, we uh, ha have a bunch of these things. And uh, I do not uh, reject the possibility that one report uh, in the history of humanity going back to what Ezekiel's wheel uh, in the Bible uh, right on up to today, that one of them <clears throat> is true. One of them. So, if... So what does that mean? Okay, if we have, since Ezekiel's wheel in the Bible, if we have had one million reports of encounters with space aliens, one million if 999,900 
99 of them are unadulterated horseshit that does not change the fact that that one that is not horseshit is the second biggest story in the history of humanity. And my guess is that one, at least one out of a million, is true. I am not uh, on any level uh, eliminating the possibility that uh, that that they're th th these goddamn space aliens uh, out there. So there there there's four there, there there there's four possibilities here. Okay. Anybody reporting an encounter with a space alien is one a liar, B batshit crazy, C mistaken, or D making an accurate report of what they saw and experienced. It's one of the four. Uh, and if 999,999 people can fall into the liar, batshit crazy, mistaken categories, and one person in the entire history of humanity has reported correctly that they had an encounter with a being from another planet it is the second biggest story in the history of humanity. And I think there's a better than 50% chance that the second biggest story in the history of humanity is just, is just unfolding right before our very eyes as 99 percent of clueless morons just completely won't believe it, laugh it off, whatever. But of course, you know, I don't have that much problem believing it because 99% uh, of clueless fucking morons have no clue that the number one story in the history of humanity is unfolding before their very eyes. Uh, so if 99% of this planet is, is completely unaware or uninterested in the fact that the number one biggest story in the history of humanity is unfolding uh, in front of their clueless fucking moron eyes uh, every day uh, of the year. Why should I have any problem that 99% uh, percent of, of people, and, and I don't want to pick on Paul, uh, but you know, so Paul Whetstone, uh, he's completely uh, open-minded about the number one story uh, on the uh, in the history of humanity unfolding. No interest, and in the second biggest uh, story. And uh, so we'll get to have all kinds of fun, and I will I will be sharing my own uh, quote UFO abduction stories I'm sure I've shared them before for the two or three people on the planet who are interested but for the record Hambone Little Tail has never seen I have never seen a UFO I have sure as shit never seen a space alien in, you know, my real-life waking consciousness. Uh, never happened in 64 years. Uh, it is, I consider this to be a great uh, hole in my life. I, uh, it's just, uh, I am very jealous of uh, 
uh, of these people who have uh, seen UFOs and space aliens. I'm not really jealous of the people uh, who have who have had uh, physical encounters with physical beings don't get me wrong because I know what those uh, uh, those evil little motherfuckers put me through for 22 years in the non-physical realm so I'm not jealous uh, of, uh, of those people but for people who have seen a, uh, a, a space alien you know from a safe distance uh, or even a UFO. <laughs> you know, 64 years, guys. 64 years. Uh, and I spend a hell of a lot of time uh, looking up at the sky at night. Uh, the fact that I have never once seen a UFO uh, is, a, is a huge disappointment in my life. But uh, it does nothing the fact that I have never seen a UFO and sure as shit have never seen a space alien uh, I, I'm not so fucking egotistical to claim because it's never happened to me uh, that anyone claiming it's happened to them are lying batshit crazy or mistaken so, uh, we shall see what we come up with, but, uh, we're going to start in a separate video here. Uh, we're going to review the new debt, Netflix, the new Netflix documentary series, Encounters coming up soon so uh, to all the Paul Whetstones out there just get used to it uh, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with uh, w with comments from people uh, because just you know just like what I'm doing with the Doomosphere uh, I, I want to create a you know a safe space for people to come in here and talk about the number one biggest story on the planet w without having a bunch of fucking trolls sitting there and, and calling doomers fucking liars batshit crazy or mistaken uh, if, if some troll uh, it comes on and uh, is just talking trash uh, about doomers. Uh, you know, just talking trash about them in the comments, and it's nothing but just trash talking. I delete the comments. <clears throat> so uh, my guess is that if that's going to be your intention to leave those comments talking about uh, talking trash uh, about people interested in the second biggest story in the history of humanity I'll go ahead and just make the policy now I I'm gonna take down your fucking comments and this uh, and I will even take down Andy the Gardener's comments I've never taken down an Andy the Gardener or a Paul Whetstone comment. Don't even think I've taken down a colony of cells, but I've served notice that this is not, this is not a, uh, this uh, weekend departure here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe is not an invitation to close-minded uh, whatevers to come here and 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 talk trash about people uh, who want to have a serious discussion about this. 
with full knowledge that 99.9% .9 of the conversation is unadulterated horseshit. This is uh, for this uh, series will be for the 0.1% of people uh, out there uh, who understand that 99.9% .9 of shit you hear on YouTube is unadulterated horseshit, but they're interested in the subject. So if you're not interested in the subject, go the fuck away and go over there to Collapse Chronicles or uh, come back on Monday. Because we really don't want you here. With that little amplification and clarification, I'm going to wrap this up and uh, welcome to the ride. Bye, guys.